Well, hi there, boys and girls. This is your first video in pre-AP pre-calculus, and it's about measuring angles. And I want you to go ahead and title your notes, Measuring Angles of Rotation. And we're going to take a look at a picture of a unit circle. And we're going to, first of all, focus our eyes out here on the positive x-axis, and we're going to call that zero degrees. And this has a very important name. If an angle is in standard position, the initial side of the angle is going to be on the positive x-axis which we're going to call zero degrees so this right here would be the initial side of an angle and we're going to call that on the positive x-axis call that the initial side now when we open up an angle if we open up the angle and we start going or rotating counterclockwise that means like against a clock a clock goes this direction that's called clockwise counterclockwise if we start rotating counterclockwise then we are going to be making a positive angle so if we are rotating from this initial side counterclockwise we're making a positive angle so let's just say that we started rotating from here and we stopped at 120 degrees straight up here would have been 90 degrees let's say we stop over here at 120 degrees where we stop that is called the terminal side so we have an angle here it began on the positive x-axis that zero degrees we rotated from there past 90 degrees out to 120 degrees and this part right here that is called the terminal side didn't draw that very straight there but whatever okay so there's the terminal side and you can see here this angle of rotation went through 120 degrees all right now if we were to rotate to the right or actually with the clock if we were to rotate clockwise you see this dash thing here rotating clockwise that we are going to refer to as a negative angle we need this vocabulary so we know the true story of what happened if you just saw an angle you're not quite sure how it got drawn so here we know if we have a negative angle we know it, it was drawn clockwise so I want you to look at these other numbers here these other numbers are negative 240 and 480 and I want you to imagine what if I started on the positive x-axis and I started rotating and I went all the way around the circle now we all know that that's 360 degrees to go all the way around the circle but what if I kept going I went all the way around and then I went around again and let's say I stopped right here now if you did not know that I'd gone all the way around the circle the first time you would think that this was just a 120 degree angle but in fact it's 480 degrees because I do have the 120 degree angle but I had also gone around a full 360 degrees and that worked out to be 480 degrees the angle ended up in the same place but it was a different story also I could have started on the positive x-axis and started drawing a negative angle or gone clockwise and went around this way now negative angles are going clockwise and ended up right here that would be a negative 240 degree angle now why is that let's just count through here there's 30 45 60 90 120 135 150 180 210 235 I'm sorry 225 and then 240 but it's negative because I was going clockwise so I need to erase this here so you can see this better so let's erase this stuff here so all three of these angles ended up in the same place but they have different names and those names are important because they tell us the story of what happened I know whether I went clockwise or if I went counterclockwise or how many times I went around the circle so if an angle ends up in the same place but with different names we're gonna call that coterminal angles so there's a, a lot of vocabulary we got out of the way initial side terminal side positive if we're going counterclockwise negative if we're, if we're going cl um, clockwise and coterminal angles are angles that end up in the same place but have different names all right so let's take a look at drawing a couple of them so let's 
click here. Now I'm going to draw a 80 degree angle. And since it's positive, that means I've got to start to rotate counterclockwise. And so this would be an 80 degree angle. If I could keep going, I'm opening up Microsoft Word for some silly reason. We're going to close that. Let's click something at the top there. Well, there's an 80 degree angle. Let's bring it back down. Now what if I wanted to draw a negative 120 degree angle? Well since I said negative I would want to start going clockwise. Now you'll see up here that this just says 120 degrees. This is just measuring the positive angle between here. But since I went clockwise this would actually be called a negative 120 degree angle. I'll just do it down here. Negative 120 degrees. Okay, let's go click on a few things. I've got an address here. This is Cliff Notes over everything you need to know about angles. And we're going to click on this little web icon. And we're going to go there. I'm going to point out a couple of things. I don't want you to write all this down. You've got that website there. You can come to this website and read if you need to. But this talks about, you know, measures of rotation. And I just want to point out a few things here on this website. Here's a positive angle, 150 degrees. Notice we have the terminal side, I'm sorry, the initial side, and then the terminal side in between them is 150 degrees, and it's positive because we rotated counterclockwise. Here is a negative angle because it was rotated clockwise. Now also we have the quadrants. Quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. You should know that from geometry. And so if, if an angle's terminal side ends up in quadrant 2, we'll just call the second quadrant angle. If it ends up in quadrant 3, it's a third quadrant angle. If it ends up in quadrant 1, it's the first quadrant angle. And of course, if it ends up in quadrant 4, that's called a fourth quadrant angle. All right, and here's another example of an, not another example, but an example of an angle that ends up right in between quadrants. Now if that ends up, that's just called a quadrant angle. So if, like, if we rotated 270 degrees counterclockwise, we didn't end up in quadrant 3 or quadrant 4. That's a quadrant angle. And it's, it's neither quadrant 3 or quadrant 4. The same thing is here for like negative 180. Um, again, let me scroll back up here. You can have coterminal angles, and here's several examples. Here's a 30 degree angle and a 390 degree angle. They end up in the same place, but they're called coterminal because they have different names. Here we actually wrapped around an extra 360. And of course, you know, 1110, look at that. That's, that's several rotations around. So there's some examples of coterminal angles, and you can go to this website if you need to. But anyway, so you'll have a worksheet to work on um, tomorrow in class, and I will see you guys then.